Now, the East Yorkshire MP Greg Knight has revealed that he wants to represent the UK in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. He's rock band MP4, featuring the former Brigham Gould MP Ian Causey and also two other MPs, want to be on the shortlist when the public votes next month for the song that will represent the country. Well, in a moment, we'll be talking to them, but first, our culture correspondent Amory Tasker reports on whether they have got what it takes to be the Eurovision contenders this year. And by the way, her report contains some flashing images. Over 60 years, Eurovision has turned singers into stars, among them ABBA. Say your on me. And we've had five British winners, including Brotherhood of Man and most recently Katrina and the Waves. And now this group want to follow in their footsteps. MP4 with East Yorkshire MP Greg Knight on drums and former Brigham Gaul MP Ian Causey on bass. They spent years playing to fellow politicians. Now they've got their sights set on Eurovision. The song contests watched by 180 million people worldwide. But the man who's written the official history of Eurovision says they won't have seen anything like MP4. There are weird things in Eurovision, definitely, but uh, sort of middle-aged MPs is not, if you like, weird enough. <laughs> I mean, drag queens and, and ladies with beards, etc. They all, they've all done well in Eurovision recently. But four middle-aged MPs with absolutely no experience whatsoever, I can't see uh, resonating with the Eurovision audience. But the local authority does need to have sufficient resources to take... Doing their day jobs, they've never looked much like Euro pop stars. But the British public gets to vote for this year's entry. So in the words of former Eurovision winners Bucks Fizz, it's up to you to make your mind up if you want MP4 to carry the UK into Eurovision. Anne-Marie Tasker, BBC Look North. Well, uh, two of the four now have been speaking to the MP Sir Greg Knight and also Ian Causey, who used to represent Brig and Gaul. I started by asking them whether they wanted to be the act to represent the UK and perform in the competition. It was suggested to us at one of our fundraising bookings that we should put our names forward and a journalist picked it up and now it's, it's all in the media. So we would like to be the act, yes. I don't think we could do any worse than some of the previous acts we've had who've come bottom of the poll. Uh, so we'd like to be the act and if possible we'd like to have our own song but I think we missed the deadline for that this year. But, I mean, Ian, I mean, who, who is going to want um, MPs... Um, you know, singing the Eurovision Song Contest. I mean, you're not, MPs are not exactly that popular, are they? Well, I think what's happened is that Britain has become very cynical about the Eurovision Song Contest because they think it's become overly political, and I think that's probably true. So I think it would be a fantastic British response to send in politicians because it's politicians that deliver in politics, and what we can do is that we can bring this trophy back to the UK like no other act can. So, Greg, why have you even got him there? Were, 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 you, were you too embarrassed to sack him when he's no longer an MP? I mean, you should be MP3 plus one, really, shouldn't you? Well, he's a good musician, and I like the American system. If you've been a governor in the States, you're always called governor. So, <laughs> for us, he's still an MP. <laughs> and, 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 you know, in the contest itself, surely we can't do any worse than the Russian grannies. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's also worth saying, Peter, you know, that there's a very popular band in Britain called the Police, and I don't think any of those were ever police officers, so... So, you know, I think it's right. okay. OK. OK. <laughs> All right. Well, you're, I think you're living in your own dream world. But still, I mean, <laughs> last year we were 24th out of 27th. I mean, if you sing our song this year, I mean, would we be 25th or 26th or 27th or, or what? We think we'd be top, don't we, with our album? Definitely. <laughs> then the, the cross party for cross Help party for Heroes, album. and we can deliver this, and we can bring the prize back. Do you know, we've got a secret weapon, Peter. The idea is if we get through to the final in Sweden, we're going to have you, Peter Levy, dancing like Bez out of the Happy Mondays in an uncoordinated <laughs> fashion, which would... Now, if that doesn't deliver the votes, Peter, I've no idea what will. I, I think you're living in a complete dream world. <laughs> what are the real chances of you being on that stage in Sweden singing? I think they're quite low, but yeah. we enjoy fundraising and it's getting a little bit of publicity for our fundraising 
uh, bookings that we do out of have, out of hours. Have, have I been hoodwinked tonight just so that you can plug your album? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. The album's no, been out no, a long time. No, we're serious no. about this. We think we can deliver for Britain. Of course, it's up to other people, not us. But the, you know, there's a right. crescendo of support behind us, and, we, and we, we want that to get us to Sweden. All right. Well, listen. I wish you well, gentlemen. Uh, Ian Corsi, Sir Greg Knight. Thank you very much indeed. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. It's not April the 1st, is it? No, it isn't. But MP4 have done uh, great, and they formed in 2004. And I would say uh, since then they've raised over a million pounds for charity, and that's what that's uh, all about.